So I'm trying to explain this concisely. Uh, I'm at Wilmcote, just because I wanted to get on here. That will take me up to Claverdon, and then I'll get every train that comes back and stops at Bealey. Now, normally, there's a Chilton train service that just operates between Stratford and Leamington all day, apart from uh, morning peak and evening peak. There's one that goes straight through to London, Marlebone. Uh, but Bealey and Claverdon then get stopped, if in the timetable, uh, by Chilton trains. However, the stations are actually managed, operated by West Midland trains, but they only run one train a day. It's a southbound train. It's come down from Birmingham, comes off the curve at Lapworth, and then uh, Claverdon and Bearley, it stops on request only. So it's a request stop only when the one West Midland train runs through, but it's not a request stop when the Chilton train runs through. So I've got up very early just to get on at Claverdon. I'll have to flag it down as a request stop and then travel one stop to Bearley and then get off as a request stop, but then as I came on my bike, I can then cycle back from there. So I've got to get there first and then do the two request stops in one train, the only train a day that does it as request stops. Made it to Claverdon. Claverdon. Came from Wilco, actually just passed through Bearley on the way up. Chilton train not scheduled to stop. Uh, and then it was scheduled to stop here, that's going to Leamington, and then we'll wait here, and then in literally, we've only got 10 minutes, in 10 minutes time, nine minutes time, the West Midlands train will come down here, and I will have to flag it down as a request stop. That means I've got eight, nine minutes to check out Claverdon. Straight away, it's a single platform. But there used to be a second one there. It opened as a single track line, then they doubled it, and then they reduced it down again. Oh, so I wonder as well if Bealey's old second platform is still there, but uh, yeah. And I think, <laughs> I'm thinking, this seems quite sparse, but I got a, a peep at Bearley, and that is, I think, even sparser than this. looking for a ticket machine because the one at Wilmcote was out of order. There is no ticket machine here. <laughs> there is a help point. And there, there is ooh, a waiting shelter with a phone which has dialing tone. It's a slightly better map than the one that was at Wilmcote. You can see here Claverdon and Bearley are here and one train comes from Birmingham down down from Dorridge and then Lapworth, Claverton, and Bearley and then on to Stratford and that little bit there actually gets served quite a lot but not by West Midland trains but by Chilton trains doing Stratford to Leamington. Uh, timetable. And here you can see our one a day train whilst all the others are generally between Marlebone and Stratford and then Leamington and Stratford just here WMB footnote B footnote B footnote B B B B B B from Birmingham and Snow Hill. Okay, so it started at Snow Hill this morning at 5.53, and it's Claverdon with the X, 6.31 request, and then Bearley with the X, 6.35 request. So it should be here in five minutes. Any second now, I can't miss it. There was just an audio announcement and I didn't get my camera in time. It was like, it's a request stop. It will come around the curve. And I have to flag it down and then not forget my bike. Oh, I've been saying barely, but it just came over the PA as barely. Anyway, bye-bye Claverton. <laughs> Welcome to Bearley, which, which has its abandoned second platform as well. Now I should say, doing Claverdon as well was a bit of a bonus because when I came to do this, I was just thinking about doing Bearley and it wasn't until, barely, barely, and it wasn't until late last night uh, 
that I realised that I could get the train from Stratford or Wilmcote to Claverdon and then reverse back and do both, i.e. get on at uh, Claverdon and then get off at Beerley. Beforehand I was just going to cycle to Beerley and get on this train and now as it is I've just got off it and I got on at the third carriage and I had to awkwardly move my bike up through from carriage three into carriage two. Uh, and the gentleman conductor guard was like, yep, <laughs> no one ever gets off here. It's also got a telephone. Look, it's the same style of waiting shelter and then telephone with dialing tone. Both phones are working at Bailey and Claverdon. This is, well, it's just a phone really. Looks like an old station cottage. I'm suddenly aware that it's still six something in the morning, so I'm keeping my voice down because <laughs> there might be people to sleep in there. There, this is brilliant building there. Now, Beerley and Claverdon used to be bigger stations, two platforms. These used to be, uh, I forget where exactly, but there was another branch line off here. Now, there was a actual another line off here, so this was a much bigger station. It does look like this should have been, could have been part of the old station house. So the station house is definitely, I think, part of the old railway. And for a minute, I thought we we're gonna find out who it was, or maybe I was having images of um, suddenly being, finding out who lived there, because I put a tweet out this morning about what I was up to, uh, and Tim Dunn replied, hey Tim. And he went, oh, are you visiting my mate? I don't wanna say the guy's name, but I had images of Tim suddenly knowing the guy that lived in that house and then messaging him, and then he'd invite me in for like a cooked breakfast and coffee, and it would all be fantastic, but, uh, it, it's not. <laughs> it's something else. But thanks, Tim. Uh, I'm not doing what I think you thought I was doing. I'm just visiting Barely Request Stop at six in the morning because uh, that's a kind of a fun thing to do. It's interesting. The road itself, down the end, does appear to be a fairly major main road, and yet, on the classic onward travel information board, it's fairly sparse. There's sort of nothing going on, which is fine. That's kind of what I expected. It really is a little tiny pokey halt almost. It should be a halt, barely halt. It's barely a station. No, that's terrible. Man, I need some tea or coffee. Um, two years ago in the OR stats, uh, it dipped under a thousand passengers a year. It's been kind of hovering around the thousand passengers a year for ages. Two years ago, it dipped to 700. Maybe they took out the service or something. And then last year, or in the last set of stats, uh, stats it went back up uh, over a thousand to just over 1,100 passengers a year. If you roughly divide that by 365, it's three passengers a day. Uh, and yeah, and off in that distance, um, the track curved around to the left, back around to Wilmcote and down to Stratford. But there was, ages ago, beaching, 1960s, there was a little curve that branched off to the right uh, and went to Alcester. Um, there's really not a lot else <laughs> going on here, which is great. I love it. And that's, uh, that's kind of it. Claverdon, tick, barely tick, two more request stops done, tick. Thank you very much. Um, it's very quiet here. <laughs> it's pretty much all I can say. I'm gonna uh, ride my bike back to Stratford.